A Livingston County School District is considering a new policy detailing which flags and signs can be displayed in classrooms. It's our top story at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. A proposed policy in Fowlerville Community Schools will only allow some flags like that of the United States and the state of Michigan to be displayed on district properties. Yeah, the policy, the details of the policy has brought concern from some teachers and parents and students, while others support the change. Josh Sanchez joins us now live with more from both sides. Josh. Sherry Javon, the proposed policy is again in front of Fowlerville's Board of Education after it was introduced earlier this month. Now, while the policy says it's, quote, content neutral, students, set, students and parents I talked to say that there has to be more to it than that. I'm just picturing, like, another freshman me. If I didn't have, like, the same support I did, I don't know how it would have turned out. Gavin Sherritt recently graduated from Fowlerville Community Schools. As a gay person, they say the proposed policy seems like a wall built to keep out representation for students that identify as part of the LGBTQ community. The proposed policy on flags and displays says only the state and American flag can be displayed on district property. The policy also allows displays that are part of the approved curriculum, sports-related displays, and those representing colleges and universities and the military. It comes as other districts revisit their own similar policies. Heartland Consolidated Schools looked at barring any sign or poster showing any social or political causes unless it's part of a school lesson. Saginaw Public Schools viewed a similar policy last year with fewer restrictions. Some parents agree with Sherrod that there's an underlying reason for the proposal. It seemed to us very much that they were specifically targeting pride flags, anything rainbow. There's also concerns about how it's written and what it means for student clubs. Like my daughter, for example, at the high school, her art club wouldn't be able to post when their meetings are because that's not a checked box. Student organizations is not a checked box. But other parents aren't seeing it that way. Some who spoke with Six News off camera say they support the idea of just displaying the U.S. and state flag, calling it a return to basics, and keeping politics outside of the classroom. Parents like Kelsey. We should have the American flag in our schools, and that is it. I pledge of allegiance in the morning, and no more flags, no more, no politics for our young children. She says everything else can stay at home. Plain and simple, it's not up to the teacher. If they want to fly a pride flag in their home, for their children, that's their own decision, but unfortunately they come to a school where they're a teacher to lots of other parents as children, and it's not okay. Now I reached out via email to school board members to learn more about the origin of this policy, but I've yet to hear back. The Board of Education is expected to meet Tuesday night at 7 at Fowlerville High School. Back to you.